How to make elf skating with a motor. Step one, acquire a motor of your choice. Me personally, I use multiple motors before I landed on a box fan. Step two, find something you can mount to the fan blades, for example, wood, cardboard, anything of the sort. I chose pallet board. Step three, find where you should mount your motor. I would use a combination of bolts and screws to accomplish the mounting process. Step three, find the right speed. Make sure your motor is not hauling so your elf skating or anything you plan on doing with the motor does not look dumb. Step four, you can skip this step if the speed is not an issue, but to slow down the engine, increase the weight to the motor, either by adding weights or boards, anything of the sort. We'll get the job done. Step five, mounting your elves to the boards. Use a large amount of hot glue. I'm talking almost two glue sticks here. A lot does not go far. Addressing motor issues we had as a group. At first, we tried using a vacuum motor, only to realize that a vacuum motor is very hard to slow down and blows up easy. Rotating fan motor. They just stopped working, so maybe you'll have luck with it, but we didn't. Ceiling fan motor. I didn't know if this was just us, but it couldn't spin without a boost, and we did, when we did spin, it would just stall. Fine details. We painted our blades and boards white to more better fit the ace guiding aesthetic. We accomplished this with white paint. We also used a white tarp to make the area around the motor look white. We also put the motor on a pallet to get it off the ground and put trees around the tarp. None of this is necessary, but it does make it look better. To assemble the props, first, print out a picture of an elf, two, laminate the picture, three, cut it out, four, glue it to a piece of cardboard so